Good morning, um, friends, family, church. Welcome to another um, beautiful day. It's actually quite a bit warmer this morning uh, for a winter's morning. And um, found this little place down here under a wattle tree. It's just in one of the little lakes, at, north lakes there. But um, yeah, just a, a nice little spot. Um, just peaceful, quiet, there's nobody else out at the moment. Uh, except a lady and a dog going past. Just thought I'd um, start the morning by posing a question. What have you got planned for today? In fact, what have you got planned for the rest of this week? What have you got planned for the rest of the year? Imagine when we asked that question of each other in December, you know, or January at the start of this year. What have you got planned for this year? And we, we all had plans, amazing plans, things we were going to do, things we planned on doing. You know, church, we, we had plans. And then we woke up one morning and found out all those plans had gone out the window. Um, they didn't mean anything anymore because the world was in a crisis. Uh, there's been a real struggle. And, um, yeah, the best laid plans of mice and men, as the writing goes and they've all fallen to naught now we're still planning on getting to the end of this year we're planning on um, that there will be uh, lifting of restrictions and so forth we hope um, but the reality is we simply don't know we just don't know so where do we look for for certainty or a surety or some sort of security in our plans I want to share this morning a uh, bit from, my, from Jeremiah 29. And it's a verse that most people know well when we, we hit times of crisis in our own personal life. Um, but it starts in verse 10 for me here. This is what the Lord says. You will be in Babylon for 70 years, but then I will, then I will come and do for you all the good things that I have promised. I will bring you home. For I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. And in those days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. I will be found by you, says the Lord. I will end your captivity, restore your fortunes. I will gather you out of nations where I sent you, and will bring you home again to your own land. This was the promise that was made to the Israelites in Babylon, where they were told because of their wickedness and the way they turned away, that Babylon would come, destroy them, cart them off to captivity. But the, the Lord assured them that it wouldn't be forever. Well, the Lord has plans for us. Now, we haven't had the Babylonians come and drag us off into captivity, but we have left security of jobs, home, the church home. The Lord promises all those things will come to an end, that, that isolation or that uh, separation from the things that we hold dear. But does he mean it in the temporal or the inter eternal? See, Jeremiah giving his warning to the Israelites, it was for both, the temporal and the eternal. The promise from a, Jeremiah, I should say, is not for us for the temporal, it's for the eternal. Because the plan is, by God, that one day, a day not that far away, I believe, but it'll be as long as it takes for the Lord to, to decide. There's coming a day when the Lord, His plan is to return. His plan is to return and to take you and I to a place that is far better than what we expect here. You know, we, we look forward to things returning to normal, as if that'll ever happen. Because what is normal? There has never been a normal. Everything has always changed, as I said yesterday. And so the Lord's plan is that all things will be made new, that eternity will go on with him and those who choose to be with him. The important part of this text, for me, is this part. Now, I know we focus a lot on the plans for good and not disaster, but what about this part? In those days, in these days, 
when you pray, I will listen. In those days when you pray. And if you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me and I will be found by you, says the Lord. The importance is not on focusing on what's going to happen. Are the borders going to uh, be eased? Are we going to have an easing of restrictions? The important thing here is that we need to pray and to seek the Lord wholeheartedly. And then our captivity, our captivity that is found in fear and uncertainty and conspiracy theories and all of the things that humanity makes up, will be released from them. We'll no longer be captives because the Lord's plan is a good plan. It mightn't seem like it. It mightn't seem like the greatest idea, but it's the Lord's plan, so therefore it is good. So today as you reflect and you open his word and you sit down and you ponder, remember what Jeremiah counseled. Remember what God told him to tell the people to do? Pray and seek him wholeheartedly. So let's do that right now. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this new day. Thank you for the freshness and the crispness that was found in it. Thank you for the renewed hope that is in it. Thank you, Lord, that your plan is way better than any plan that we have ever come up with or dreamed of. So, Lord, help us to seek your plan, to seek you wholeheartedly, and to find ourselves under your umbrella of care. Lord, I pray for the plans that people have today. May they be in accordance with your will. And if they're not, Lord, let us be humble to change them and allow you to change them. Allow, allow our calendar to become your calendar and our plans to become your plans. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, like I said, I don't know what you've got planned for today. I know what I've got planned for today. Um, it'll be the food hampers this morning. But even in that, there can be change. So let's not be scared of it. Let's embrace it and have a great day. Until I see you tomorrow, I'll leave you with this little uh, shot through the wattle tree here of just something that is calm and peaceful. And I just pray that you find calmness and peace in your day. Until I see you tomorrow, God bless and take care.